Hi there, my name is Cecily and welcome back to This Week in Rideshare and Gig Economy News. Here are this week's headlines. Uber drivers express concerns about transporting COVID positive college students. The operator of an autonomous vehicle in Arizona that struck a pedestrian has been charged. And Uber is handing passenger and driver data to the British police. Thank you for joining us. It's This Week in Rideshare News. Lyft released a statement stating in a recent viral video involving a black Lyft passenger being beat and punched by a Georgia deputy didn't happen on their watch. Earlier this week, TMZ reported that a police officer had pulled over a Lyft vehicle for a bad taillight and beat one of the occupants because they refused to show their ID. Lyft states that Roderick Walker was not a passenger in a Lyft vehicle and that they have been cooperating with the police. The Georgia deputy that beat Roderick was fired for using excessive force. The Uber autonomous vehicle test driver responsible for monitoring one of the company's self-driving cars that hit and killed a pedestrian in 2018 was charged with negligent homicide this week. Rafaela Vasquez was watching TV on her phone when the Uber self-driving vehicle struck Elaine Hersberg who was crossing the road in Tempe, Arizona. According to the National Transportation Safety Board investigation, Vasquez was charged with a felony after Uber had been cleared of potential charges. The Daily Mail reports that Uber may be allowed to keep its license after all to operate in the UK because it shares information with the police on drivers, passengers, and destinations. Now, this intelligence is reportedly used to tackle drug dealing, human trafficking, and child sexual exploitation, as perpetrators have been known to use cabs to aid in these crimes in the past. Now, the company was awarded a five-year license in 2012, but in September of 2017, TFL refused to renew it, and the ride-hailing app went to court, where a judge handed a 15-month license in June of 2018. It was then given a further two-month license in September of last year after the TFL rejected Uber's application for a new license, citing several breaches that placed both passengers and their safety at risk. Uber drivers and passengers in the UK now say that they are concerned about their privacy when using Uber's services, and I don't blame them. Uber drivers in Champaign County have been transporting COVID-19 positive students to isolation dorms and hotels. Some Uber drivers are worried about putting themselves at risk. The students are not able to use public transportation and to these facilities, so they have been relying on ride share to travel back and forth instead. One driver was quoted as saying, I would really appreciate if this university would arrange university transport using university vehicles. He also believes that drivers should be given the chance to opt out of accepting these rides. He says that some of the drivers say, I would rather not have that individual in my vehicle and deny them. You turn down the ride and let someone else pick them up. Which brings us to this week's What Would You Do? There are a number of college students that are in school and we do know that the virus is going right through the population of these campuses. If you were given the opportunity to pick up a patient and you were alerted, would you be willing to do so? That's my question for this week. Um, there are, I'm sure, have been people who've driven this whole time that never got sick and that feel really confident that they are either doing the right thing and keeping their cars clean or they just are immune for some reason. And so I understand those people feeling confident. Are you one of those people? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. That's it for this week in Rideshare News. If you are interested in seeing program, subscribe and remember to meet me back here on Saturday mornings. If you have any tips or anything you'd like to see covered, you can always contact me on my Facebook or YouTube at Drive Girl Drive. Have a blessed week. Be safe and talk to you soon.